Welcome drone video fans and this is the 13th video in my series on the covered bridges of Ashtabula County. Uh, this one is the Graham Road Bridge, the only bridge, the only covered bridge of the 18 in Ashtabula County that is not in service that you cannot drive a car over. As you can see it's up on cement blocks uh, close to the ground on the uh, west side and you know because of the slope of the land it's uh, higher in the air on the uh, eastern side. You access it by uh, going to the up the steps on the west side. That uh, uh, the design on the uh, on the northern face there indicates that it's part of the Ashtabula County Covered Bridge Festival. Uh, we're kind of come flying in here and getting close to the uh, placards that are on the side of the bridge and uh, I wanted you to get a good, clear look at them so we did a screen capture of that and you can see that it uh, mentions that it's on the uh, Benson Family uh, Park it's actually the Benson family owns this land on which it's located and I talked to Mr. Benson uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video uh, so here we're kinda just flying along seeing the uh, the front north facing uh, face of the uh, side of the bridge and uh, then we'll be rising up. I was using the uh, XK X380 uh, camera drone on, on this one and that has a feature called fly around point and my intention was to get up above the the uh, bridge here, center it, uh, pan the gimbal down and uh, then back off and then allow the drone to fly around the bridge itself but see those trees there on the right side they were higher than than I uh, imagined and so uh, they caused me to have to abort the uh, the uh, uh, fly around point part of the of this video so uh, here again I'm uh, just trying to uh, locate the center point of the bridge uh, pointing down at it and then I, I press a button on the transmitter marking that that's the center pull the uh, the uh, drone back a distance then tell to uh, go ahead and start flying around and then I get to control the uh, camera and the gimbal and have a point at the uh, at the bridge um, and it works usually pretty well but at this point right here I decided that I was going to fly right into those trees so I climbed rapidly to make sure I didn't hit them and of course that ruined the uh, fly around the uh, point um, uh, that I was trying to attempt. What you're seeing now is the Graham Road Bridge um, and I'm facing now to the west and you can see the Benson family home. Uh, the, pro the property of uh, that family is where the uh, bridge is located. Also see in the background the uh, branch of the Ashtabula River over which this used to run. Uh, now we're gonna sort of move towards the front of the uh, uh, bridge here. This is the entrance way on the west side. These steps were donated by a local charitable organization. They built them and installed them uh, as part of a community uh, service project. And uh, I'm, I'm just gonna get a, a quick look over here. I did not want to uh, venture too far inside because of the uh, metal roof, but uh, we'll get an, uh, enough, you'll be I'll go far enough in for you to uh, see the town uh, trust construction of this 97 foot long uh, bridge. Um, this bridge is used primarily not only for people just to come and look and check out its construction but also um, uh, picnics since there's uh, picnic tables and uh, benches, seat benches in there but also uh, weddings. Uh, there, the last wedding I believe was held in uh, 2014 and the uh, minister was all the way down there by that picnic table and the, the uh, uh, groom and bride walked the length of the bridge to have the service performed and then came back out the front here and uh, to their friends uh, and family uh, throwing uh, rice on them. Um, we're going to raise up here, oh here, here you can see some of the open uh, peg holes which were used in the original construction but now you can see a lot of uh, modern wood and um, uh, bolts and so on and so forth that was uh, used during the renovation and reconstruction. Here's a, a screen grab of the um, placard that hangs 
on the uh, south side wall of, of the uh, bridge with all the information on it. And uh, I, I did that so that it wouldn't be bouncing around. Now we're back out onto the uh, uh, Benson property here where the bridge sits, uh, looking at the, uh, uh, Ashtabu- the branch of the Ashtabula River that uh, this used to span uh, back in the day. Uh, you can see those trees there on the on the uh, south side that I, I had to uh, climb in order to avoid. But um, uh, flying down uh, this, the uh, south face, and, and seeing the, uh, the uh, uh, stream that runs alongside it, you can imagine that it's uh, kind of, uh, an ideal kind of summer uh, place for perhaps a, a, a picnic. And uh, we're getting close to now the uh, bend where it turns and goes over a modern uh, bridge which is what took the place of uh, the covered bridge that used to go over this um, dropping the uh, camera down a little bit to sh- you can see how shallow the water is at this at this point but that uh, newly constructed bridge is now what what uh, takes the place of uh, what used to be the where the covered bridge uh, used to be and you can see the uh, concrete abutments that used to support the uh, bridge itself uh, on either side and the uh, the stream continuing to run towards the north there uh, underneath the bridge. Uh, quite a bit of traffic actually goes over that bridge. Now we're looking um, at the eastern end of the uh, bridge. You can see how high it is over here so they put a safety railing uh, in place so that uh, people wouldn't be attempting to walk to the uh, end over here and and maybe jump out or it was just too too high they figured for putting steps there it would be uh, hazardous and since it's on private property uh, they didn't want to have to deal with lawsuits or anything like that so now we're going to go inside here you're going to see the typical town truss construction with the uh, lattice work on either side you see the uh, picnic table there uh, which is uh, owned by Ashtabula County and um, it's actually a nice place for a picnic because since this bridge is low, is aimed east and west, a breeze blows through it most of the time. There is no uh, uh, lighting uh, in the bridge itself, but um, during the, the wedding that was held here in 2014, they did have uh, external or they had a portable lighting uh, set up to uh, light up the inside of the bridge. Um, backing out here, again, seeing a little bit of the... Uh, the branch of the Ashtabula River that uh, this uh, covered bridge used to go over and um, again you can see uh, quite a bit of a drop off due to the slope of the land um, that this sets on. Uh, The Benson family uh, as I pointed out uh, owns the property on which this bridge uh, sits and uh, I'm raising up a little bit here you can see the new roof which was added uh, within the last, I think it was in the last five years, they put that new green metal roof on there. Anyways, the uh, Benson family lives in this house that I had pointed out earlier that's on the uh, uh, western uh, part of the property. And uh, after I was done with this shoot, um, uh, octogenarian uh, Mr. Benson came out riding on his four-wheeler, came down and, and talked with us about this bridge and other covered bridges in the area. It was just a, a fountain of information and uh, uh, a real pleasure to talk to. And I have a feeling that uh, anybody that spends any time over here looking at the bridge would uh, would probably have him come down and, and talk to him. There's Graham Road again. Uh, again, this is an easy easy bridge to come to. It's got uh, interesting points to, to, uh, to uh, look at, even though it's no longer in use. It's well worth uh, a visit. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next video in the series.